What is up, YouTube? It's me, Kevin. I'm back. We are back on Atomic Heart and the Armageddon mode playthrough. It looks like we're actually back in the dream world where we left off. We woke up here, I think, in the last one, right? And then we went through some stuff with the nurse, Eliana. Monsters in the dark, my boy. And we're kind of nervous that she might be in trouble. Because uh, Sechikov might have activated me into murder mode with her near us, so she might be in trouble. And once I completed the puzzle, I found a book that now prevents me from sharing my That book is human greed and human. That's a black people have no time to dedicate themselves to science. On the other side of the world, they're busy playing with money. And on this side, they're playing with the power of the masses. I'm not sure I understand the, this. Shattered to pieces by the husks. You know? No one has ever read. Like, you want us in a trippy Social state, and we're just walking now. through, Humanity crawling through a tunnel. They are all. I mean, is this engaging? Is this truly engaging? And let robots toil for us. Get rid of inequality and the lie of communism. Give people... What happened? I'm being flashbang. Dr. Sechenov just held a press conference in which he completely denied rumors about civilian robots malfunctioning at Facility 3826. The facility is back to full operational capacity, <sighs> and the red Finally alert will be back lifted with us, very Annie. soon. You took a Collector real pounding, didn't you? You were pretty close to staying there for good. Where? You tell me. How am I supposed to know where you are when you're on the bloody uh, rampage? You were a nice boy when my daughter was around, but... Ever since she passed away, you do nothing but sulk and fly off the handle at the drop of a hat. Nothing but blood and ripped off heads everywhere. This is mother-in-law? What's your daughter got to do with me? <sighs> My Katinka. Our Katinka. <laughs> they played hell with your memory, Sonny. Lady, what are you talking about? She was my daughter, but she was your... Ekaterina Nechaeva, codenamed Blesna. Member of the Argentum Spec Ops Squad. So you must be. Your mother in law, you stupid ignoramus. You worked for Sechenov until those Bulgarian terrorists blew you up. Katya didn't make it. Then Sechenov turned you into a monster. Yeah, I may have heard something about that. Why are you just sitting there if you already knew? I've been keeping an eye on you ever since. I figured there must be some humanity somewhere in you. Sorry, lady, but you figured wrong. My past, my present, it's all gone. Wait, where's Larissa? She's everywhere. You scattered her to the four winds. I did what? <sighs> Fuck. You got a gun, lady. Does it look like I don't have one? What would you like? Anything will do. I just need to blow my head off. Great idea. Just blow your own damn brains out and be that done with down, it. Stand down, lady. Then set an off to turn everyone into mindless meatbags. First the hey. Soviet Union, then the rest Bye of the world. I get it. If you get it, then get up. I'll give you weapons, lots of them. But only if you promise me you'll put that freak down once and for all. Yeah, he's gonna die. It's time. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Listen to your elders, Major. Comrade Sechenov's deeds demand vengeance. What? What is this shit, Sergei? It is me, Zinaida. Charitan Zaharov. Charitan? You devil! You're alive! In a sense. An evil wizard turned me into polymer goo. Wait a fucking minute. Are you telling me you've known Granny Zina this whole time? Keeping secrets can be very useful, Major. They haven't let us down yet. Useful to who? You keeping secrets is letting me Sechenov down. Sechenov must be off his rocker if he's doing this kind of stuff to people. Wait a second. What about Katya, Kartinka? Could she still be alive? It's possible, but in what state? Just look at me. I'm not sure I'm better off, but I don't have hard data at this time. 
I'm begging you, Sergei. Sechenov has to die! Jeez, get off my back already! Crispy critters! What the hell is going on around here? On the one hand, I've got lying manipulative dicks who claim to be noble avengers. On the other, I've got a Soviet scientist and member of the Academy who wants to enlighten all mankind and use me to get rid of assholes. According to the manipulative dicks, that is. Show me what's now in that arsenal you're talking, yours. Sonny. Yeah, boy. We're taking them out. Fading data. Are my guns in here? Honey, I am extremely worried about you. I think you may be in danger. What do you mean? The break room isn't safe anymore. No, handsome. My room will always be safe for you. I won't let anyone in as long as you're here. Then where is this threat coming from? Your glove! It is manipulating you! Take it off before it's too late, and we'll be together till death do us part. Oh, man. I'm sick of you going on about the glove. But I'm right, darling. Yeah, yeah, you just want to murder me. Not gonna happen. How could you even think that, sugar? I only kill pathetic, horny little pipsqueaks who try to enter me, when all I want is you. How many times do I have to tell you to stop killing people? But that's beyond me, sugar. I can't help myself. Then you'll have to deal with the glove until you can. You should forbid her from telling you to remove the glove. You see? He is turning you against me. Oh, sneaky manipulator. Darling, take off the disgusting thing right now. Listen, can you spare me your maniacal ramblings? This place? has already gone to hell. Whatever you say, master. Mm, just enter me often and keep punishing me. <laughs> I think there's like mixed feelings about uh, Nora, but I actually think she's rather interesting. It's a, it's a little weird, but you know, it's quirky stuff. Uh, it's like a, a pleasure bot, I guess, that turned right murderous. Oh, femme fatale, she's like a femme fatale bot. Okay, so I have all my weapons. Um All right. We're on the we're on the main island, I think. Yeah, we're back at well, on Granny Zena's thing. Then come on, Sergey. Vengeance awaits. Don't rush me. One is it, thing at a time. Is it like I a final fight? That we reach such an out before collective is updated and it is too late to change anything. Should I? In case you don't like his answers. Should I actually get a bigger gun? <laughs> Should I get bigger guns? Uh, I you know I kind of like. All right, fuck it. Well, uh, maybe I need more ammo. Let's let's grab more ammo. I don't know about guns. That might take some time here. Let's just uh, not upgrade storage. Grab more Kalash ammo, and then a couple more pistol. Um. And then maybe grab I think I'm going into a final fight though so what we're gonna do instead here man well it's this I hate how it moves like this when I'm moving something uh, I'm gonna swap smalls for larges and then uh Let's grab uh, another this and another this and then there. We'll try it. Um, if I end up dying, um, we'll go to a Nora. Unless I get, man, if I get trapped, that happens sometimes in this game where you get trapped. Dude, he's just using his hands. But I feel like I'm going to have to fight the ballerinas probably. I never thought of that. Um... See, there's a Nora. Okay, so there's an aura right here. So if shit gets too real in here, hopefully I can come back here and uh, get more. Or switch. Or switch, you know? And then there's the ballerinas. Oh, 
Uh, they left or right. Just like your twin has ability to store up energy. You have no idea how right you are. Attack it to take out its stored energy. And we can okay. Whoa, where Oh my controls are My controls are off. Has no desire to dance with you. Oh, damn it. The latest robotics technology, and for what? Imagine if there were two of them. Is there gonna be two? It says left, right? So where's right? Dude, I can't do anything if I can't see her. I like the uh it's like the I forget what the name of the oh god She had like the same audio cry as like the, I forgot 
the name of it. It's something the first beast boss in uh, Bloodborne. Can't believe I forgot the name of it. It's like a badass looking boss. My my very first ever Souls like boss. And it was just extremely fucking cool. Um, am I gonna be able to hit up a Nora? I need lots of ammo. That was the right. So where's the left with the jacket? they gonna pull that off well Sergey first they sell robots then they simply give them away as aid once they reach critical mass they take over all the power plants and cut off the power hmm to our topic the atomic heart project doc, or speak speaker dr. Dmitry Sechenov Welcome, comrades. In 1951, the capitalist imperialism of the United States, consumed by hatred and envy for the Soviet Union's magnificent scientific achievements, declared the launch of the Global Energy for All program. In essence, this program is just as hypocritical as the capitalist system itself. Hiding behind a facade of lofty ideals, the capitalists strive for worldwide uh, hegemony. Uh, the suppression of all independence other than their own and the eradication of those who do not share their values. Um, at first glance, energy for all seems incredibly noble. 50 nuclear power stations will be constructed throughout the United States in order to provide every American citizen with cheap and available electricity. But the United States capitalist regime is, as always, hiding its true face twisted into the beastly grin of imperialism behind a mask of uh, magne magnanimity. Uh, in addition to these power stations, the United States is also secretly building a network of underground silos and hangars for launching nuclear missiles and housing strategic bombers armed with nuclear bombs. The Americans' goal is simple. Once the Soviet Union believes their claims of peace and friendship, it will let down its guard and the American military machine will strike, destroying the Soviet Union and the entire communist way of life with a cowardly sneak attack. But the Soviet Union isn't one to sit on its hands and wait while our enemies regroup and swell their ranks, hiding nuclear weapons underground where we cannot eliminate them from orbit, nor is the Soviet Union one to back down or run from another nation's might. In response to the American threat, Facility 3826 has developed its own project designed not only to protect the Soviet Union, but also to rid the world once and for all of the very possibility of such a bloodbath. The President of the United States once called energy for all America's atomic heart. Given the profound guile and hypocrisy of American capitalism, this name reflects the essence of the global threat developed by the United States all too well. For this reason, our project, which will counteract the Americans' deadly machinations, uh, has co-opted their leader's metaphor. Our atomic heart will return honesty and integrity to America. The atomic heart project is made of several, oh God, sequential steps. Okay, yeah. Well, cool. kind of stop there. Yeah, so uh, down with capitalism, which is not honestly all a bad thing uh but your communism not very great either you know i'll tell you what's most important democracy no matter what we do people have to vote on it and have to believe in it that's my opinion but communism or communism and capitalism are both generally fucked up in their own ways and i say that maybe they're not fucked up it's just people are people are fucked up take advantage I'm gonna keep going up hate those things Ooh. 
We still have the left ballerina somewhere. There was, oh, they, fuck, yes. That's what I was looking for, a save station. And uh, actually more so, Nora. What will it be, Major? Weapons? All right, I'm kind of thinking it's probably a good time. We're gonna go straight ahead and we're gonna, we're gonna break that down. Um, the pistol, man, the pistol's so good though. Oh man. I feel like we're gonna get rid of this and we're going to craft um, this thing. your time game uh and then Authorization. major Nichayev. we're gonna craft uh fat boy oh the rail gun too i forgot about the rail gun is the rail gun it's an energy one too right so with that that might actually be better than the dominator okay cool love how the game does that So we got the pistol, the pistol, the dominator, the kalash, and the uh, fat boy. Access granted. Pretty slow process. I apologize, everyone. Um, so let's grab kalash. Have some fat boy we're out of space what else do we put up put up this stuff man this stuff is not terribly useful to be honest i mean it's okay uh put that up so i can grab full clips we've got i think we got enough heals we don't need about grabbing more heals that's the fat boy what do we got let's see we need a lot more pistol damn i can only grab two more uh, yeah, I think, oop, 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 wrong, wrong button. I guess that's probably the way to go. Can we, uh, upgrade anything over here? 73, energy management. Is there another backpack slot somewhere? Range attacks consume less. I mean, damn, I really like that. Wish I could get that. Polymer shield we're not using. Oh, uh, you know, I'm forgetting about my... I'm forgetting to use all my abilities. I didn't use any of my abilities on... Uh, on that uh, ballerina. And in fact, we need to open this. And select that. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, do I even have any inventory slots? I don't have any more, right? We have lots of fat boy stuff. Okay. And then if I need to, I can go boom. Oh, okay. I just went boom anyways. But let's go. So I don't waste that. There's both of them here now. Protect. Well, Cheriton, are you proud of yourself? You, Larissa, and Zenaida have certainly been busy. But, Sergei, I wouldn't have expected you to be quite so gullible, my boy. Silence! 
You messed with my head. You wiped my memory. Am I a toy to you like those other people connected to Collective? Who the fuck Calm do you down, think you Sergei. are? Sergei. I can see you're terribly upset. It's okay. I don't blame you. But you, Cherub. You were supposed to help the boy not pull his strings like a puppet. Me? Don't you blame this on me? I'm not the one trying to deprive everyone of their free will, turning them into mindless puppets. It wasn't my choice to be a talking pile of goo, either. You're glad it happened, aren't you? You'll use everything and everyone to achieve your goal, including me and your agent. Admit it! How dare you! I lost you both, then saved your lives. You're both scientific miracles. You were... You are my best friend, Sheraton. And the Major is like a son to me. And those two are like daughters, right? And everyone you're going to connect to Collective, everyone whose minds you're going to control, who are they to you? Millions of foster kids? Everyone is just grist for your mill, Dimitri. I want to give mankind a spectacular future. Unimaginable achievements. I want to give them a path to the star. Both of you, shut up! Get your hands up! Some goddamn wizard you are. Tell him to stand down. I'm counting to three. One! What a shame. Two! It's a shame you've escalated this situation without even trying to resolve it peacefully. But I won't let you stand in the way of progress. Right, left, terminate. Damn, two at once? Oh no. And they can fly. Oh my god. I wasn't ready for that. You just die right away? Yeah, I totally wasn't ready for that. <laughs> I, didn't I wasn't really at the ready. Come on. He's stronger than a robot. I guess, well, they're polymer robots, right? So they're not like all metal. Ouch. Living fuck is this? Stop blaming the machines, Major. Freaking fucking critters. Hey, where are my guns? These are cold hard facts, Bullet. This is exactly what I want to correct. He's just watching my office with a loaded gun. Where's the friendship? Where's the respect? What about your respect, Major? I hit shit, dude. One. What is going on here? Oh god, please heal. How many times? You couldn't accept her death, and I couldn't save her. I had to do it. That's enough, boss. I'm willing to believe that you were acting in my best interests. But why couldn't you just tell me? I'm sorry, Sergei. I wasn't sure what to do. Right now, the right thing is to call up the twins and just talk to me. Forgive me, but right now they're fighting Charita, not you. Bro. 
Am I out of ammo? No, I have one left. Why is it not reloading? Reload! Is it reloading? Why is this gun not reloading, dude? How many times do I have to reload? Like, this is so dumb that you're like looking at one and the other will just hit you. I got hit? Like how? Oh my god. out of heels too.
What is this? Electro? Yeah. Oh! Okay. Jesus. I was out of heels. Complete the game on Armageddon mode. Boom. That was the game. Sheraton's manipulating you! He gained access to the Voskhod module in your brain and started sending you to limbo. I was busy getting ready for the collective update, so I didn't realize it right away. He's the one who killed Molotov. Tell me, Cheriton, did you do the same thing to Dr. Falatova? <laughs> Did you use my agent to tear her limb from limb? I'm sick of your hypocrisy, Dimitri. I did your dirty work while you stayed squeaky clean. But they didn't deserve to die. Why have you done this? <clears throat> you motherfucker this whole time. I've been uh, done uh, enough of you, Major. Uh, your uh, job is done. Uh, Three, my boy, get up, get up. Oh, he's gonna go into such an off. This is so gross. Oh, no, what oh. do you want? I want all this to end, Dimitri. I want your pathetic human race to realize it has no future. It's time for it to step aside. Make way for the next phase of its evolution. Me. Jarrison, you're pure evil. Hey, there's the furry thing. That I was what? in my dreams. What are you going to do <laughs> to humanity and collective? You should not call something evil just because you cannot comprehend it. Evil is an abstract concept, and your thinking is limited. You are a human, a species that will soon be extinct. I realized. When I stop being human myself, your limitations prevent you from seeing the truth. Dumb humans don't want to evolve. All they want is comfort and satisfaction on someone else's dime. It's not wrong. I never wanted to join with the massive array. No. no. Not charity. No. no. I'll be changed. The Sechenov wanted Russian domination, and the uh, Glove just wanted to destroy everything. So what do we want? Huh? A weird looking kitty. It's super fluffy. Come on, Grandma Zena. Where you at?
So what does that mean? Like he basically destroyed so where humans cannot the control Argentum the robots? unit entered Dr. Sechenov's office and found no trace of the doctor. According to partially reconstructed footage, it appears the humanoid neuropolymer object approached Dr. Sechenov's body. And then completely consumed it. After the events described in the report, the unidentified humanoid neuropolymer object left Dr. Sechenov's office and vanished. There's our villain for the sequel, perhaps. Hopefully, if there's a sequel, we get a new protagonist. <laughs> So we never have to hear that line again. Who says that? Why are the why did the devs write that in thinking that's a cool phrase for him to say? And first of all, he uses it as an insult and as like a There is nothing I can do. Anyways. The game, the game is pretty good. There was a lot to like about it. There was some, you know, misses. The the story, story was like compelling in terms of just like overall plot. I think some of the delivery was a little, you know, eh. it was it went on the wasn't like great on ter in terms of delivery. Um, the I mean, just a lot of the detail and design and creativity of the like world was pretty awesome. Um, uh, I actually thought the combat was really good. I enjoyed the combat. Um, it was a little weird not being able to have a sprint button. Uh, you know, that definitely threw me off a lot. Um, and it took me, a, it did take a little bit early on for me to adjust to the combat and get the hang of it. And once I did, the uh, game was actually kind of easy. I'm, I honestly can't remember the last time I died in this game. Um, but I played on Armageddon mode. This was supposed to be the hardest mode in the game. Um... But, you know, I enjoyed it. I, overall, I thought it was a, you know, worthwhile play. Uh, the open world, I'm going to agree probably with every sentiment out there that the open world was just, like, awful. Like, they should have not even put that in here. You should have just, like, quick traveled, you know, to the next main area rather than ha even have that open world. I, I can only imagine. This is what makes me sad about de developers and games where they focus on a, an open world like this like both i'm going to use elden ring as another example the same as atomic heart where man if they just took all that time back that they wasted in my opinion on the open world and just put it back into like all the other things of the game that are great like the combat and the the actual areas that you're going into to kind of you know propel the story forward man they could, those things could have just been even on another level and just even better you know what i mean like I mean, I'm using Elden Ring as an example. Elden Ring overall was a great game and had really cool areas. I just think just like Atomic Heart, the open world was meh. But enough about Elden Ring. Atomic Heart, I think, you know, I'll give it probably an 8 out of 10. It was it was pretty good. I, I would definitely recommend it for anyone that wants to try it. The graphics were phenomenal. Um, I thought overall the performance was pretty great. There were definitely some hiccups and some dip frames in certain areas. But otherwise, overall, it like handled very well, in my opinion um the yeah the the dialogue and the story the story was again overall it was compelling but the dialogue and some of the delivery mechanisms you know to kind of tell the story were a little odd and you know that could just be the fact that you know this is a, a foreign developer and you know storyteller right and so maybe it's just different you know maybe that's you know completely like normal and acceptable over there it's just i don't know it feels a little weird to me as a you know an american maybe an ignorant american if you will um but yeah uh the game the game was good it was a uh, pretty lengthy a uh, playthrough too i think it lasted probably about 30 ish videos and i, I want to say that was probably about 20 hours maybe 20 to 25 hours somewhere in there um but that was the Tom Hart playthrough, and if anybody has been watching these videos and enjoying the content, I, I greatly appreciate it. I'm a brand new content creator, and you know I'm still you know kind of learning and getting my feet wet, so to speak, in, in the YouTube world. But yeah, you know, if you wouldn't mind, if you're enjoying the content, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you think about the content. If there's anything I can improve, anything you might want to see as a you know a viewer, 
Um, I'm open to all suggestions, basically. Um, but that, that concludes the playthrough of Atomic Heart. Um, so again, for anyone watching, I appreciate it and hope to see you on a future series. Take care.